about how how you ended up here then? Um, it was a strange one, really. I, I'd um, I'd left Leicester in I think October, November time, and with with Sven and um, with Derek Zakli, and uh, you now at the time it's a difficult time to lose your job, and um, it, it's it's taken until Neil's phoned me in um, back in sort of you know, end of June, really. So I came out of the blue and. Uh, a fantastic opportunity for me so you know it came as a, as a result of me being released at Leicester and um, obviously Neil taking over here so um, but yeah it was a it, it came out of the blue I can say Fair to say you know the Legion United manager pretty well isn't it? Yeah I, I, yeah I mean I, I do yeah I've known him for a long time and he's known me for a long time but uh, um, in, in different capacities working for him and, and, and years ago playing for him so um, no, I don't think you ever get really that close to him, but obviously he, he knows what I can and can't do, and and so yeah, there was no uh, no decision to make. Obviously, coming here was a great opportunity, really. He hasn't asked you to bring your boots, has he? Have you, has he by any no, chance? I think, <laughs> the, I think those days have gone. Those days have gone well gone. But uh, no, he's, uh, he's he's a unique person, and uh, you know um, when people do work for him, they realise um, his his, uh, his ability and his credentials. But um, I'm sure that he'll be as competitive as ever this year. And despite you know he's, he's he keeps saying he's going to retire, but uh, you know. We'll, we'll see. I guess he hasn't changed much from those those early days when you were when you were playing under him, has he? No, I mean the preseason always the first two or three days looks after itself, you know, and um, he uh, he hasn't changed that. And, and why should he? he? He's had seven, is it eight promotions and they've been very successful. Um, so uh, you know he, he has embraced sports science, but he's, he's also um, he's got a good understanding of what's right for him. So um, you know the first two or three days I've done very little. I've let him take mm-hmm. over, and uh, but you know he's uh, he's tried and tested and. Uh, like I say, very very successful the way he does things. How did you end up doing what what you're doing now, Chris? You know, after you, after you decided to you know to, to hang up the boots, finish um, playing. Yeah, that's a long story, but um, I, uh, I I packed in through like a like a, a, a muscle disorder, like a metabolic disorder, which no one could pinpoint for a long long time. And and, and without going into detail, after I packed in and saw lots of different people, I had a sort of understanding and, and a, an interest in sports science and sort of like pursued that line of uh, um, sort of work and uh, you know obviously went to university and then worked at various clubs and, and gone from there so I was lucky really because I, I had a lot of people in the game I knew so you know so that always helps I suppose. Uh, how much has this particular job sports science changed in the last 15-20 years in football I mean it's it, you know it's, it's one of the buzzwords now in, in the game a lot of clubs you know very much getting involved with, with sort of the science side of things and everything else and how important is it now in modern football? I think it depends on the manager who, who, who's in charge you know some people embrace it more than others and obviously the higher up you go there's more revenue to, to, to have that on board I mean the clubs I've worked at it's always been very very um, uh, used on a regular basis and, and, it, and it's incredible how it has changed since I packed in not that long ago 15 years ago it's just it's a different game altogether so it's come a long long way and, and it had it, it needed to do so but Sometimes it can it can, you know, be, become all consuming sometimes, and it does create a lot of work for people. And maybe that's why I've got a job. So it's uh, you know, it's, it's, it's fours and against for it. You know, is it very much about um, how you measure things with, with with regard to the players? I mean, is it, you know, is is, is it the, the the measurements really that you use to you know to look at a player's fitness and their shape and everything else? I think. I think, especially with the manager here and other people I've worked for, they, with, the, with their experience, they, they've got a fair understanding of, of what's required and what they're looking at. But then, the data that we get and the, the information that we get from various systems, we can actually supplement that or, or back it up. So, you know, I think there's a, there's a there's a there's room certainly for for both. You know, for some objective and subjective sort of uh, understanding of people's performance, I suppose. How are the players looking then? A few days into into things, yeah, they're very good. I mean, I wouldn't say that otherwise, but no, they are. I mean, players come back in terrific shape these days. And uh, years back in my day, you'd often see players come back three or four or five kilos overweight. But no, it's the, the fantastic shape. And you know, with with, with the managers pre season, that the, the, they are very very intense. So you you need to come back in reasonable um, condition yourself. But they've worked very very hard and. They've got the weekend off now, but uh, and I'm sure they'll work hard again next week as well. What's the aim of these first few training sessions? Then the first week before that sort of first training game, warm-up game back against Farsley. Um, I think certainly with the manager, an understanding of of the tempo you need to to work at to, to get into his teams, and most of his sides work at a very high tempo. And himself and all the coaching staff who've worked with him before will know that as well. So, and the players that if they don't buy into that, they don't play. You know, so. Um, but you know they get lots of time off and recovery time. But it's to prepare them, you know, physically for, for the for the games ahead. And as we know, it's a long, long season, and um, this is a, a very, very important period for the players to, uh, to to get in condition. 
Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a rigorous season, you know, the Championship, you know all about that, don't you? Just how tough it is, the, the demands on players now. I mean, 46 games plus the cup matches and Leeds will hopefully be up at the top with extra pressures to deal with. There's, there's, there's a lot of things that the players need to be ready for. Isn't it? Yeah, there is. I mean, you know, he has got some experienced players in there and I'm not sure if other players will come in and, and add to that. But like you rightly say, um, it's, 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 it is a, it's a cliche, but it's, it's a marathon. And, you, you know, for managers to be sacked after 10, 12, 13 games nowadays is absolutely ridiculous. Um, you know, and things aren't sorted out until even March, April time. So it's uh, there'll be ups and downs, and it's a case of just sticking together, and working hard, and and, and um, you know trying to pull, pull together as, as a team on and off the field. Well, that's the club's motto: ups and downs. One of one of them, anyway. Chris, are you are you excited about the season ahead? Obviously, playing your part in what will hopefully be successful. The manager's you know very hungry for another promotion. Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, um, you know, an opportunity to come to a club of this stature was was, was great, and it's uh, it's. Geographically, it's near my home, so which is fantastic. But to work with 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 with, with the manager and also to work with Mick and and, and Ronnie Jepson again, and you know I know very well. So Andy Lean and the goalkeeping coach. So it's 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 been easier because I know people. But um, you know, there's some some great people there being made very very welcome, and um, it's uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it.